Hello, my name is Mr Simpson, I'm the Head of the Arts Faculty and I'm here to talk about the first GCSE in Art, Craft and Design. So, first GCSE Art, Craft and Design is the one that students start studying in Year 9 and they complete as a GCSE course at the end of Year 10. Now, we're very experienced at running GCSEs in Art and Design and we already run uh, textiles, fine art and photography through Year 10 and 11. When we were selecting a course for the first entry GCSE, we decided not to go with one of those specialist courses because we felt it would be better to give students an opportunity to really explore a wide range and we've gone for the art, craft and design course because it's the, I think of it as the art department greatest hits. It's some of the things that we know students will really enjoy doing. It's some of the most active getting on making and doing and working very creatively things that we can do but it's a course that's going to give students a lot of choice a lot of opportunity to engage and not so much focusing on becoming a real specialist in one area but becoming a, a broad and balanced creative person. So let me talk about what we do. So like all of our art GCSEs, uh, the course is, is marked 60% uh, based on the students' coursework. So that's all of the work that they do over the two year course and 40% based on an exam project that these students will sit in the second part of year 10. And it is a project, so it's not an exam where they go and sit down in the hall at those little tables and answer questions. It's a practical project that the students work on over several months and they work towards a final piece that they've created. So let me talk about what we do. So there are three parts to the art, craft and design course. We've chosen to study through graphic art, so that is drawing and painting and working with different art materials to make two-dimensional pictures. We've decided to work with photography, um, so that is, is principally digital photography and then working with photo manipulation in Photoshop on the computer and we've chosen to work with 3D art, so that's making, it's, it's modelling, it's sculpture. Now we, we will mix these approaches through the projects that we do. So typically a project won't be, okay, this is the graphic art project or this is the photography project, but we will have themes where students work through uh, a series of different creative challenges that involve making, that involve photography, and that involve drawing and painting based art. And as we progress through the project, the students then get to make choices about how they want to work as an artist. So if I can give you an example of that, the year nine at the moment, the first group running through this course are doing the theme of pop art. And as part of their pop art theme, they've done uh, a series of drawings and paintings of everyday objects, and they've studied the work of pop artists. They've used photography and digital manipulation to, uh, to convert their drawings and their photographs into a kind of really bright pop art style and they are now in the process of making 3D art, making sculptures uh, based on the drawings and the photography that they've done. And so that, that's a really good example of the way that we don't see the, the graphic art and the drawing and painting side of it and the photography and the making side of it as separate things. And finally, just to say that like all of the GCSEs, uh, the course starts with more structure, so at the beginning of the first GCSE, Art, Craft and Design, our students can expect to be guided quite closely by their teacher about how they are working and that they're taught lots of new skills. We don't expect students to arrive being able to use Photoshop or being experienced at making sculptures, for example, so we teach that. And as we go through the course, it becomes more and more student directed so that as we move into the second part of the course in year 10, students are much more able to decide which are their strength areas. Do they want to concentrate more on the photography and digital art? Do they want to concentrate more on the sculpture? Do they want to keep their options open and continue to mix and match those different approaches? 
Okay, that's the end of my talk and I, I want to just finish by saying that we've got lots and lots of exciting examples of work that students are doing in the first GCSE. It's a really popular course this year and if, if any of our students want to come and look at examples of students' portfolios, they can come and find us in the art department on any day. Thank you.